Hello reception, Mrs Butcher here and I'm here to take you through our phase three tricky word focus. I hope you've got your listening ears on ready to join in. Thought we'd start though with the sounds that we already know. We're going to jump straight to phase three but if you did want to remind yourself of our phase two sounds you could pause the video now. So we're going to look at our phase three sounds. You've all seen this word map before. So, are you ready to join in with me? Let's go. Z, y, x, u, v, j, r, r, Ooh. Ear. Er. Er. Air. O. I. E. A. Ng. Remember this one has two sounds, the soft sound, as in thumb, and the hard sound, th. sh, oi, ow, or, ch, qu, z. And back to the beginning, well done super effort. So our focus today was looking at a new tricky word, a phase three tricky word. Now a tricky word is a word that you can't sound out phonetically. It's one of those words that you just need to learn. We've already done phase two, but let's just remind ourselves of those tricky words that we have looked at. The. Into. I. No. Go. To. Super. Phase three. In no particular order. B. Me. You. She. We nearly tricked you. Her are he and was super work. Our new tricky word has three letters. Have a look. Do you think you can tell your adult what this word might say? It's the word all, our new phase three tricky word, all. My turn, all, your turn. Great work. Let's put our new tricky word up there. We might use our new tricky word in a sentence such as, all of you can join in, all. Let's have a go at writing our tricky word. Watch carefully and then I'd like you to have a go. So our first letter is the letter A. A belongs to which letter family do you remember? Our curly caterpillars. So let's start at the top. We go around and up and give it a tail. Good. We then have the letter L. L belongs to the long ladder family. So we're going to start a little bit higher and we go all the way down with a small tail. We have another L as well, so let's go again. At the top, we go down and give it a tail. Have a look at all of our letters. All of these letters sit on the line. 
there are no descenders in the word all, but we do have two ascenders. Can you see? L, L, our tricky word, all. Let's try writing it again. Let's remember a finger space because it's a new word. So we start here, we go around and up and give it a tail. Our letter L starts higher, it goes down to the line, give it a tail and down to the line and give it a tail. Pause the video while you have a go at writing the tricky word all five times in your books. So I thought for a bit of fun and maybe at the end of the video, you could have a look around the house or go outside and see if you can create our new tricky word all using materials that you can find. So I had a go and I'll show you some of my examples. I use Cheerios, we could find twigs, we could use stones, whatever you can find to create that tricky word. I'm going to do a close-up in one moment, but hidden in this picture is the new tricky word, all. All. I would like you to have a look and see how many times you can see the word all. And for bonus points, I snuck in another word there, another phase three tricky word. I wonder if you can spot the word. Have a look at the picture and then pause the video. So how many times did you spot the word all? It's a bit tricky, wasn't it? Because some of the words are written sideways. Let's have a look together. There's an all up here on the mountain. There's the tricky word all on the palm tree. There's the tricky word all on the side of the pirate ship. There's a tricky word all on the fish. I can see all in the sea. And a really hard one to look for. Look at the word all down here, right in the corner by the fishes. Did you spot them all? Six times the word all appeared. There was another one though, wasn't there? And it wasn't the word all, another phase three tricky word. Did you spot it? Yeah, it's the word R. R. It reminds me a little bit of the pirates in this picture. R. Well done if you spotted those. So for our final challenge, I'd like you to write a sentence using our tricky word, all. Listen carefully to all of the words in the sentence. Are you ready? You can all go to the shops. One more time, listen again. You can all go to the shops. Seven words. Don't forget everything you need for the super sentence. Should we try it together and see if your sentence looked like my sentence? Let's have a look. Now, we remember for a good sentence we need a capital capital. Let's start our sentence. You can all go to the shops. Seven words. First word, you. I know you is a tricky word. Are you ready? You. There's my capital letter. Did you have yours? You. Making sure my letters stay on the line. I need a finger space. Can. K. A. N. Can. K. Oh, now I know there's lots of different letters. Or oh, is it a digraph? 
Let me get my mat to remind me. Mm. Can, can, it's a phase two sound. K -k 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 -k. Ah, there it is. K for cat. Can. K. Ah. Mm. You can. Here's our tricky word. I bet you got this one right. All. All. All of my letters are sitting on the line. You can all. Finger space. Go. G-O. Let's go. I know that's a tricky word. You can all go. Let's count our words. One, two, three, four. Hmm. I know my sentence had seven words in total. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've got three more words to write. You can all go two, 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 finger space, the, Make sure your H is higher. It's an ascender going past your T. The. Now my final word is sh o p s. Hmm. Let me stretch the word out. Need to remind myself. Sh o p s. Shops. Oh, I can hear lots of sounds. Sh sh sh. Oh, it's a digraph to start. I remember. Right, let me check my sound mark because that always helps me. Hmm, it's not a phase two sound, it's a phase three sound. I'm going to look, I can see it. Shh, can you see it? Shh, right. Shh. Oh. And a and a full stop to finish my sentence. Let me check it. Have I got seven words? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I do. Seven words. That's good. Have I got my tricky word in there? Can you spot it? There it is. You can all go to the shops. Now, does your sentence look like mine? If not, pause the video and make your corrections. It's always good to check. Now, I gave you a sentence with lots of tricky words in. There were some phase two tricky words and there were phase three tricky words. Can you look back at your sentence and put a small tick like this above each of those tricky words? Phase two and phase three tricky words. Shall we have a look together? We said you was a tricky word, so I'm gonna put a tick or there. Can, we can sound like that's not a tricky word. Oh, there's our tricky word for today, our phase three tricky word. G-O, let's go. That's a tricky word. Two, that's a tricky word. The, we know that's a tricky word. And we sounded out the word shops, so that's not a tricky word. So one, two, three, four, five tricky words in our sentence. How did you get on? Amazing work reception. It's been really lovely working with you today. Don't forget to send in your videos because we love seeing them. If you've got a picture of your sentence, that'd be great to see too. Lovely to speak to you all, lovely to see you. Keep working hard. Bye bye for now.